All right, Pat Pagano's away uh, for the weekend as he's uh, heading to Chatham. Not Chatham, New York, but uh, out on the Cape. And the person who's not going to Chatham out on the Cape, Anthony J, is with us. Good morning, Anthony. Hey, hey Marshall. Jill, how is it going today? Not too bad. How's it going with you? Great. It's a uh, warm but nice morning uh, where I am. How about uh, up there? It, here, it's, you know, I didn't have the air conditioner on last night. Uh, it, the house stayed cool enough. I, I think it's humid out, but I also think it's a damp humidity. You know, it's it's not the hot humidity because the sun's not up. I think once oh, the sun yeah. comes, I think once the sun comes up, it's going to get uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. As you mentioned, Pat's out in the Cape again. Uh, is that a Chatham Mass? Yeah, he's out in Chatham Mass. You know, one of his yeah. one of his one of his friends had somebody die in the family, so they're. They're going out, and they they invited people to go out to the house with them. And, you know, it's a freebie for them, so why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he likes it. Yeah, the Cape is wonderful. Uh, I haven't been back there in, in, in several years, but, yeah, especially in August. Oh, it's absolutely terrific. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I haven't been to the, tape, the Cape in a long, long time. And, uh, and that's because you have to go through uh, Rhode Island most of the times, and I don't like going through Rhode Island. Oh yeah, it's the uh, yeah, the Cape goes all the way out to Provincetown, the tip. Yeah, so many people here go out there. As a guy, uh, a real nice guy here, Serge, uh, who owns uh, Seravan Restaurant, he has his own pilot's license, and what he does, he flies out several times a week to to to, to the Cape, to, to Provincetown, yeah. and he gets and he gets fresh seafood, and he flies it back, and and then they serve it that night. Oh yeah, see, I have some a couple of friends that are pilots. One I went to school with uh, that was my roommate uh, he's he flies those planes he used to fly the Cessna planes now he's a commercial pilot oh I used to fly a Cessna you did oh a Cessna 172 huh? oh I don't think you told me yeah out of, the, friend, King, out of the Kingston <laughs> airport I used to do traffic reports for WKNY uh, uh, uh-huh. in, in the morning and afternoon for about two or three years and I logged probably I think I logged close to 2,000 hours uh, uh, flying Cessna 172s Oh, very good. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I went up in one of those planes one time uh, with him, and uh, I'd love to do it again, actually. I I liked it. It was fun, um, but um, I don't know. I don't have time to do it now. That's too bad, you know, and I've been invited. There, we're having, by the way, up this weekend, as a matter of fact, I think it's this weekend, uh, there's, a, there's a big, uh, it's either this weekend or next weekend, the fly-in uh, at the Great Barrington Airport. Uh, and they have uh, it's it's a, it's a you can go up there you can you can fly there's hot air balloons and stuff and it's a, oh I love those yes I love hot air balloon festivals that's one of my one of my favorite things and uh, and and they uh, so that's uh, so that's what they're having up there and they have it every year it started off as a as initial yeah the fly the fly in is this weekend on the 18th 8:30 in the morning till four airplane helicopter balloon rides live music. Farm and food vendors, a pancake breakfast. It benefits the Great Barrington Rotary Youth Scholarship. So, so I guess we should find out what the weather's going to be like. Huh? I, we'll stop uh, talking and find out what the weather's going to be like. Because tomorrow night I'm broadcasting live right. uh, from the Sharon Playhouse, and then Saturday's the Great Barrington Saturday. Airport, the Fly-In. So we, we, it's important we oh. know. Oh, yes. And the wind especially is, is, is very important for that. Uh, those balloons. Uh, but yes, so we are going to be looking at a nice day. Well, you know, humid, sticky day today. I don't think there'll be any thunderstorms around uh, really today. Tomorrow, our weather system is going to approach tomorrow, and it's going to strengthen and give us some thunderstorms by the end of the day. And Friday night could have some locally severe weather, maybe some damp, well, at least gusty winds. Could be locally damaging wind gusts. Uh, I wouldn't even rule out an isolated tornado somewhere up in New England or uh, in the Hudson Valley Friday night. Now, for Saturday, that front is going to kind of ooze its way east of our area. But unfortunately, uh, at least the southern parts of our area, a good chance of more showers on Saturday. However, the northern parts of the area might escape it. Uh, So we may just have, say, up around Great Barrington, some showers in the morning, and then maybe it clears out in the afternoon. We'll keep our fingers crossed, though, because those cold fronts are stubborn to go through this time of year. So we'll keep an eye on that. But that's how I was looking for Saturday. And then Sunday, we'll be back to full sunshine and less humidity. So Sunday is 100% perfect. Perfect on Sunday. Yes. And keep your fingers crossed for Saturday that we kick those showers out of here by the late morning, at least to the north. To the south, they'll tend to linger. Now, what about, what about tomorrow? 
and between 6 and 8 o'clock in the evening. Uh, yes. Uh, that cold front's going to be coming in from the Great Lakes. So we're going to have thunderstorms developing around that time, I would say, actually. Uh, maybe sooner, but between 6 and 8, I'd say storms developing towards the west and then moving across our the whole area uh, after dur- dur- towards 8 o'clock and to about 11 o'clock or so. All right. So, uh, and and they might be strong storms. Yeah, it looks like I would say some local flooding, um, some gusty winds, and with that low pressure spinning by, could you know spin up a brief little tornado somewhere. What? I wouldn't be shocked to see that. Yeah. Come on, it's the opening of uh, always Patsy Cline. We don't need no tornadoes blowing oh, Patsy uh, Cline around. Oh, oh or okay. me around. Yeah, I would keep that. It will be dry most of the day, but in the evening you're going to have to look out the, to the sky for for those storms. Well, unfortunately, it's, it's the, you know, yeah. unfortunately in the evening from six to eight, I'll be outside underneath their the, on their patio broadcasting. Right. right. Okay. So you will you be safe <laughs> even if it <they> get rain? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. No, I'll be covered if it's rain. There's not much that that I'm going to be safe if there's a tornado. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I would keep an eye. I would keep an eye to things, though. Well, I will. I'm an amateur. I've always been an amateur weather watcher. Yeah, always. yeah. I mean, it's weather is awesome. I mean, especially here in the Northeast. Over the years, I've I've kept in contact uh, with a meteorologist like Charlie Bagley, uh, mm-hmm. um, who's now retired. Uh, Brad Field, who's now retired. This is how long I've been doing this. Uh, of course, Pat Bigano. Uh, yeah. so, but I mean, from a kid on, I always used to like to, to watch the weather patterns. And when I found out uh, when I was young enough and, and the Weather Channel came on the air, I just about died of a heart attack. I was so happy. <laughs> <laughs> but, now, but now the Weather Channel is more entertainment than it is weather. Yeah, it's, a, it's totally, totally changed. Yeah, it's kind of like MTV. You can't find a song on MTV. There's no songs. There's all these damn shows. Yeah, I don't know why they still call it that. I guess <laughs> corporate. You know what the heck? But anyway, so right. so now, so now, so 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 today's going to be hot, and we don't have to worry about thunderstorms, right? Right, right. But tomorrow it's going to be hot. But then we've got that cold front moving, thunderstorms in the evening, and. Some uh, and some on, I guess, thunderstorms or rain early Saturday morning for us, and clearing right. up, clearing up by Saturday afternoon. Yeah, especially the northern parts of our area uh, to the south, it'll be it'll tend to linger a little bit more. So uh, probably not a lot of heavy rain though. It looks like, but uh, if you're down towards uh, you know southern areas, uh, definitely it's going to be wetter. All right, now you know we're gonna we we'll be changing the intro uh, to our weather forecast. Uh-huh. We, we've added a new signal uh, that oh, will, yeah. that will cover our Route 22 corridor from uh, Amenia right down to Pauling, New York, and yeah. uh, the Route 7 corridor from uh, uh, Cornwall Bridge that covers it down to Kent. We're welcoming those listeners now. They can hear us crystal clear on a city grade signal uh, now from Cornwall Bridge uh, to Kent on Route 7, and right down the 22 corridor from basically well. Uh, from Millerton down to Appalling, uh, they can get us a, a crystal clear, a city grade signal now. Added, we added more places to our listening oh, audience. Wow. That's that's amazing. Yeah. And I, I had to tell Pat we had a, we, we, you know, we have to sure we can't add them to the intro because pretty soon the intro will be forty seconds and the weather will be ten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't do that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So now are, are you're working right through the weekend or no? I am, yes. I'm going to be uh, filling in uh, both day. well, filling in my normal day, Saturday, and then Sunday, yes, I will be doing more radio, and then Monday as well, and then Mr. Pagana will be back. On Tuesday. Yes. And so you'll be in again tomorrow morning. I sure will. All right, well, we'll speak to you then. Great. Take care, Anthony. Th- take care, Marshall. Till next time. Yep, bye-bye. Uh, Anthony J. on the weather set of this morning for Pat Pagano here on Robin Hood Radio.